Hello everybody, welcome back to another video from Exotic Astrology. Today we are back with yet another example chart, okay? And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe, okay? And click in the notifications bell so that you keep getting the updates when I upload the videos. And then we will begin by saying God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him in these example charts blessing you. <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is the chart of one of my friend's sister she is a model in mumbai india she's into modeling and acting and movies okay showbiz basically so we will try to analyze her chart okay therefore first we see there are no planets in the first house, okay? The first house is empty. Although Uranus, Neptune are there, but uh, we do not consider them as of now, okay? Then the second house is also empty. The third house has Saturn placed with Ketu in the sign of Pisces. So, the Lord of the Ascendant, the first, first house Lord, is going into the third house. Third house is what? Third house also is the house of creativity. Third house is also the house of media, showbiz, communication, okay? And it is with Ketu. So the Lagnesh, Ascendant Lord Saturn, because this is Capricorn in the first house, number 10. Remember, this is not the 10th house. This is the first house. If you have not watched my videos, then please go and watch it the earlier ones. Otherwise, you will not understand this, okay? So the Ascendant Lord is in the third house of showbiz etc okay short distance travel communication short encounters okay and it is with ketu what does it mean it means that whatever happens in her life ultimately she will always feel detached and she will have this calling or craving inside her that i have to let go of this okay and then you have no planets in the 4th house, no planets in the 5th house, no planets in the 6th, 7th. Then we have Mars in the 8th house, okay. Mars is in the 8th house, then we have Venus and Rahu placed in the ninth house, okay. So, what is Venus? What is Rahu? Venus is the significator of love, relationships, romance, etc., okay. And it is with Rahu. So she is likely to have relationships with people who are of a different caste, community, creed or religion. Okay. And it is aspected by Saturn from the third house. Okay. We will discuss about aspects later. Aspect means the planet is trying to influence other planet with its aspects. Saturn is aspecting Venus. Okay. Which means it will try to impart his skills and his qualities unto venus okay so what is venus venus is love relationships saturn is what saturn is practicality at times disappointment delays etc okay so she will have a lot of encounters with foreign people okay foreign people means people foreign to her origin and foreign to her culture and this will change her internally as a person okay and she will have a lot of transformation because of this. Because Venus is aspecting Saturn who is the Ascendant Lord. Okay. And Saturn also aspects Venus because both are seven houses apart. So Saturn and Venus are trying to influence each other. Okay. So she will undergo a lot of relationships. And then in the early ages of her life. Okay. And because of Saturn's aspect. It is difficult for these relationships to materialize in a long-term perspective. So if you would see the chart of this girl, what would you suggest her? That before the age of 30, 32, try not to get into any romantic relationship because chances of it working is very low. Okay. Now, we have Mercury placed in the... 11th house so lots of friends okay 
Now again, Scorpio is placed in the 11th house, the sign Scorpio, because she's a Capricorn ascendant. So that means she has some karma related to uh, friends in this life, okay? So she might feel that things related to her friends, she can't change much, okay? And Scorpio is also co-ruled by Ketu, so she can also feel that she has to let go of people, okay? which whom she does not want to let go okay so for that's the predicament of the capricorn ascendants their 11th house has the sign scorpio now capricorn ascendants because the number 10 is in their first house itself so these people are very much down to earth very much humble very much realistic very practical and quite understanding in nature because saturn rules their ascendant okay and the fourth house is ruled by Aries, which is a very fiery sign. So the mother of this girl is supposed, is likely to be very much fiery, very much energetic, okay, and very much goal oriented. Now, who is sitting in the 10th house? Sun is sitting in the 10th house, which is fabulous for career, okay. Now, we have Sun in the 10th house, but it is in Libra, in its debilitation, okay. So, also the ninth house has Rahu there, another malefic, okay. And the lord of the ninth house of father, which is Mercury, because number six is here, is in the eight, is in the eleventh house in the sign of Scorpio, okay. This is not the eighth house. This is the sign of Scorpio in the eleventh house, okay. So, sun's debility, presence of a malefic in the ninth house and the ninth lord placed in Scorpio. These indications are clear that there is some problem with the ninth house or issues related to father. And that is very true because when she was young, okay, she was very, very, very young. The father was, uh, the father, uh, could not live long because he was assassinated and how do we see this assassination because now he was a police officer if i'm not wrong <clears throat> and son is in the 10th house 10th house is the house of government so he's likely to be in some authority post authority position okay but because it is debilitated in libra this shows that there will be difficulty maintaining his body okay and Venus is in the ninth house. That means he would have been loved very much by people. Okay. And the ninth lord itself is Mercury. So he would have he would have been very social. Okay. I have not asked her about the nature of her father. Uh, but I guess these would be the traits. Okay. And Mars is also aspecting Mercury here. Mars aspects the 4th, 7th and 8th house from wherever it sits. So 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. So the ruler of the ninth house of father is aspected by Mars, which shows violence, okay, and untimely deaths, okay. And here Mercury has co-rulership of the 6th house also, okay, because Gemini falls in the 6th house. And that shows that Capricorn ascendants, their father's, can have some issues related to vitality or health okay now coming to the mother moon is sitting in the 12th house in the sign of sagittarius with jupiter this is a very powerful yoga in astrology it is known as gaja kesari yoga and these people are very much headstrong very determined to achieve their actions okay and to go ahead with whatever they plan, okay? Gaja is the elephant and Kesri is the tiger, okay? Because moon represents the tiger and elephant is represented by Jupiter. Because both are best friends. So that is why this conjunction is very good. The person is very positive and it is happening in the divine sign of Sagittarius. So the peculiarity is that this girl is quite spiritual in nature. And because of presence of Rahu here in the ninth house, Rahu is the demon, okay? He does not want to follow traditions. This girl says, oh, I do not like to follow any specific tradition or religion. She 
follow some other religion like Scientology or uh, the Freemasons or whatever you call it. Something weird and something very unconventional. Okay. So that's the chart of this girl. Okay. And how do you see the showbiz and the connection to film industry? It's very simple. Just see the third house. Okay, the third house has the ascendant lord, which means her life focus will be towards the activities of the third house. Okay, which is meaning to creativity and fun and showbiz, etc. Fifth house also is the house of creativity, and the ruler Venus is aspecting Saturn. Okay, so fifth lord is aspecting the first, uh, the Lagnesh, so that means traits of the fifth house will also come there. Okay, and Eighth house at times also represents things like uh, Bollywood or Hollywood industry because suddenly people rise, okay? One movie they give and then bang, it is like they exceed very much, okay? So the eighth lord of sudden ups and downs is in the tenth house, okay? Now eighth lord can be in the tenth house, but why I am saying it is connected to movies here because it is the sign Libra. Libra is what? Libra is Venus. It is all about love, romance and showbiz and all these traits which Venus represent. Okay. And Venus, the natural significator of beauty and movies is with Rahu. So Rahu magnifies, Rahu amplifies wherever it, uh, with whoever it is sitting. Okay. And Apart from this, we can also see that uh, the Lord of the 10th house of career, which is Venus, because number 7 Libra is here, is sitting in the 9th house with Rahu. And Rahu is also the significator of movies, because movies is what? Movies illusion. What you are seeing there is not actually reality, yes? So that's what you are seeing ultimately, which is not true, which does not exist, which is what? Rahu. <laughs> And what kind of an illusion? It is illusion related to love and romance because it is ruled by Venus, the 10th house. Okay. So uh, that's how you can understand that this person is likely to be in fields related to industry, cinema, etc. But the only predicament is here. Rahu is aspecting the first house with its fifth aspect. One, two, three, four, five. So there are instances in her life which... She will face where she will be cheated by people and she has to be very careful because Venus Rahu conjunction is very famous for sexual scandals, sexual affairs and uh, unusual sexual occurrences with people. Okay, so she has to be careful regarding this. Okay, and apart from that, I would say her chart overall is very good and because sun is in the 10th house she will have a lot of name fame success and career in whatever she does in life okay so that's it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments then please let me know okay until next time bye bye see you